reckon she'll cope in a few more. Hey, Roger. Here there, Captain speaking. You'll be pleased to know we're nearly through the worst of it, and we'll have clear skies by morning. Unlike some of us, E.T., I've got standards. I reckon our buffer's a one-fish kind of guy. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> right oh, you lot, I want these uppers clear for a freshwater washdown. Spider, you're in charge. Let's go. It's storm of a night nice sure made a mess. You ever seen it blow as big, E.T.? Well, I slept like a baby, didn't feel a thing. Don't know what you're talking about. You're pulling my chain, right? The waves are massive. They're like at least 20 metres. <laughs> 20 metres, I spot. You sure you weren't asleep too? <laughs> Squid for breakfast? <laughs> Looks like we did some illegal fishing in that storm. <laughs> you were saying? I believe you, Sparta. How else did we get all this seafood up here? Hey! There's something big floating in the water right ahead. 200 yards. Attention bridge, attention bridge. Row report, something in the water, dead ahead. I have a visual. Captain has a ship, port 30, stop both engines. Port 30, stop both engines. 100 yards in closing, right ahead. 30, port the long, sir, both engines stopped. Very good. Full of stern, both engines. Full of stern, both engines. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Stop both engines. Stop both engines. Standard dry van by the looks of it. Swept off the deck of the container ship in the storm. Or a smaller coastal trader. That was a fortunate miss, boss. Understatement, Nav. Probably would have breached our hull. Take the combat X, put us bow into the wind downwind of the container. Don't want us floating into it. Good eyes, Ro. Or should that be ship's lookout? Just a lucky spot, sir. We'll need to record the container's serial number before we decide what to do with it. Who's up for a recce? It'll mean one of you in the drink. Suit up, Ro. He always goes paper. If we get any closer, if we catch this thing on any sharp edges, we'll be swimming home. So I'll uh, keep an eye out for sharks. It's a 20-foot isotoner. You can't see a big coat. Oh, all right, I'll go have a look. Right. Charlie 2, this is Romeo 2. There doesn't appear to be any numbers on the container, over. Roger, Romeo 2. We might have to sink it, over. Whoa, what about maritime salvaging rights? It could be a Ferrari inside this thing. And who's going to drive it back to base? Romeo, you? According to customs, there's been no report of a ship losing cargo, but who knows? So it's been in the water a while. Do you want me to prep a gunnery shoot, sir? I'd prefer to know what's inside it first, Buff. 
We don't want to create an environmental hazard. As opposed to a shipping hazard. You've got a point, X. Prep the 50 cal. All right, sir. There's an open hatch on the underside. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing, it's just full of water. So what's keeping it afloat? Uh, an air pocket. Romeo 2, this is Charlie 2. Any luck with the serial number, over? Uh, negative, sir, but uh, row reports the container is empty, over. Well, that's good news. Head back to Hammersley, E.T. We're going to sink the container with the machine gun. Roger. E.T., you see that? Yeah. Some sort of vent. Scott? Well, these things are normally sealed airtight. Keep the moisture out. Well, there's going to be plenty of moisture inside this thing when the 50 cows had its way. Now, come on. No, I'm going to screw underneath inside it, see what's keeping it above the waterline. You said it's an air pocket. Yeah, with the vent up the top, all the air would have escaped out. And the right road. Don't... Oh, yeah. 50 cow gun screw. Close up, clear away. Provide ammunition to the mount. Providing ammunition to the mount. Yeah. All right. I'm taking vents to see how many rounds it'll take. My money's on a single shot. One shot for me. Just a spider. I'll go for three. I think you boys might miss the first couple. Whew. That doesn't think much about gunnery skills. Let's focus on the job at hand. Sorry, boss. If the Navy permitted a wager, I'd bet on two rounds of the 50 cal. I'm with you, sir. There's a false bulkhead about halfway in. There must be a recess of air above that keeping it buoyant. All oh, right, you mean an air pocket? Come on. It's got a false wall, E.T. It suggests smugglers. Or a partition to separate the goods. Come on, let's get in the boat. We're going. What are they doing out there, having a fish? Give them the hurry up, X. Romeo 2, we've got a waypoint to make by lunchtime. Hurry it up. Hey, Roger. You heard the lady, come on. Oh, what's this clown doing now? Hello! <laughs> Do you have a problem there, E.T.? Negative, sir. No problem. What are you doing? Bro, get back in the boat! I heard something. It sounded like someone coughing. There might be water swishing around. What the hell is he doing? What the hell are you doing? E.T., I'm starting to lose my patience. I want you to order row into the rib. Over. Hello, this is the Australian Navy. Is there anybody in there? Ro, if you don't get back inside this boat, I swear I'm going to... Uh, Charlie 2, this is Romeo 2. We're going to need some bolt cutters here immediately. There seems to be someone trapped inside the container. Over. There's more than one. I'm not certain the language could be Vietnamese, could be Mandarin. Row reports, there's uh, more than one inside. Unsure of nationality. Roger that. Prepare the quarter deck. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Just a little at a time, OK? Stay warm. It's OK. It's OK. Passport here. <laughs> North Korean. You're Korean? North Korean? Pyongyang. Hey, Ro. How's your Korean? About as good as my Swedish. Imagine you getting stuck in a tin can like that. No wonder they're freaked out. Well, at least they can have a wash now. Get rid of some of that stink. Why can't they just have a shower on the juniors? Spot it. It's against quarantine regulations. They have to remain on the quarter deck. This doesn't seem right, that's all. You really want to share your rack with some smelly illegal. Right. Hey, Ro, 
Why don't you go below and get out of your stinger suit? I'm all right. It wasn't a request. Five North Korean nationals, all in need of varying degrees of medical treatment and unserious. What's your ETA base, sir? 1600. Roger. We'll have ambulances standing by. Sir, we've just received radio communication from a registered vessel, MV Moonshine, requesting a rendezvous. What's their trouble? I couldn't quite make out the nature of it. Their radio must be playing up. It was a very garbled transmission. Position? Approximately 10 miles southwest of us. Roger. We'll rendezvous with them on our way back to base. Aye, right, sir. aboard fishing vessel Moonshine are reporting a derelict shipping container. You'll be happy to know we've already dealt with it, fellas. All ah, right, yeah. Oh, we would have blown it out of the water if we had the firepower. Looks like you've got just about everything else on that boat. Yeah, yeah, it's your beauty, isn't she? Named her after my very famous home brew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spot, is that you, mate? How you going? How are those crabs we gave you? Talking about seafood. No, they gave me some crabs on Bright Island. <laughs> Chef, I'll tell them about the crabs in the freezer. Well, I know what you're talking about, mate. I'll let her roof, Spider. Keep up the good work, mate. See you later, fellas. See ya. See you, spider. Sir? You met those fishermen on Bright Island? Ah, uh, yes, sir. When we're rescuing the marine biologists, they gave me a bag of crabs they've been collecting. It's a pretty flash boat for a couple of crab harvesters. Oh, pretty nice crabs, Joe. Buffer said you were down here? Just decoding a Dell text. Uh, none of the North Koreans speak any English, so uh, getting any useful information out of them is almost impossible. That's a job for immigration. Mm -hmm. The fishermen just now, and spiders crabs, I noticed you eyeballing their boat. You can't get away from Bright Island, can you? Do you still think there's more to that place than the official word? I'm still unclear as to why the feds are involved. Well, I'm sure if something serious was going on there, they would never have let Ursula Morel back on the island. You'd think so. Although, Ursula seems to have disappeared. And I can't locate her. If you're really concerned, you should definitely notify the feds about it. This is from Marshall. Informing me that Robert's father has died. What? <clears throat> Taking over my duties, sir. Uh, thanks, Seymour. Ray, one of the most difficult aspects of my job as commanding officer of this ship is having to give people bad news. How can I help you, sir? It's my unfortunate duty to inform you that your father has just passed away. Please accept my deepest condolences on behalf of myself and of the entire ship's company. Sorry. Thought for a second then you were gonna sack me. Sorry, says it's only minor cuts and abrasions. But, um, 
Yeah, he's doing the best he can, but he hasn't got much to work with. That's all anyone can ask. Yeah. Well, if you ask me, I think their problems go a lot further than the physical. Oh! Oh, um, I'm sorry, so you can't be up here. Uh, if you just come with me back to the quarter deck, <laughs> it's all right. It's OK. It's going to be OK. Oh, oh, that's all right. I got it. Oh, OK, it's yours. That's yours. Just back to the quarter deck. Thank you. Is there anyone you want to call, Ro? No. You can organise leave when we get back to port. I'll peer ahead, jump a replacement. Well, if it's all the same with you, sir, I'd rather keep working. Well, you'll need some time off, at least for the funeral. I won't be going to any funeral, sir. Uh, I'd better get back to work. OK, Ro. Uh, by the way, well done this morning. Thank you, sir. Do you have any insight into what just happened then? Oh, you mean the absolute lack of reaction? Yeah. Unfortunately not. I don't have any idea of Rose's family circumstances, but that was disturbing. And he doesn't make you feel like you can ask. It's like there's this brick wall. For a communicator, he is strangely uncommunicative. Oh, people react to loss in different ways, I guess. Mm. His father couldn't be that old. Maybe he's in shock. In which case, there may be a delayed reaction. Oh, that's true. We should be alert for it. It could become a duty of care issue. Keep an eye on him, X. Come, sir, Hamnita. Come, sir, Hamnita. Just stick it sack out of my face. Oh, you're right, mate. Swing! He's bleeding! Where from? Hey, what's going on? Sit down. We've got to get him down below. Can you go the kid, mate? Uh, I got him. Still with us? Robert? He must have cut his arm opening up that container. He was fine when he got back to the boat. Yeah, the salt water, the compression of the steam suit could have stemmed the blood flow for a bit. Hey, Robert. Oi. Wake up. Oi. Oi. Wake up. I'm all right. You did a shocking job of wrapping this, mate. Yeah, well, I only had one arm. I don't have the equipment or the expertise to deal with this. This needs proper cleaning and suturing. No, stuff it. Just, just wrap it tight and I'll hold on for we go home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm afraid you're not going to get out of here. I'm afraid you're not going to get out of here. Come with me, please. Get the guys sorted. Doctor. Sir. I. Help. Doctor. I. Help. Pretty good to me. I don't think I'm going to touch it. You're not going to restitch it. What for? The stitches are neat, they're clean, they're excellent, in fact. I couldn't improve on that. I'm just going to give you a little jab. The file says you're due for a tetanus. So, whose fine needlework is this anyway? Your ship's medical officer? I'm glad you had that bag. You speak English? Yes. 
son. You should have told us. Would have helped us communicate a little better with you. Afraid. Uh, sent back a Pyongyang. Uh, arrest by government. Uh, shot. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Still. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, thank uh, you. B boat? Uh, uh, ship? You fine? The ship that you were on? No, we haven't, but we're looking. Uh, the Navy, Coast Watch. Uh, you must find uh, uh, others on ship. What? There are sorry, other other people, other other people being smuggled. Other uh, box. My my wife, a son. You, you must find. You must find. Please, please. So how good is this man's English? Rudimentary, sir, but I've gathered there are four of them on the second container, including his wife and his teenage son. All wanting a better life. Sir, we have to find that container. We have to rescue these people. Coast Watch is on the lookout. No, sir, I mean that Hammersley should join in the search now that we know that there are others on board. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm, Ro, and I'll certainly contact Navcom. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, Ro, you should take some time ashore and attend your father's funeral. I prefer to stay aboard Hammersley, sir, and help in the search for the missing illegals. I've got to admit, Ro, I'm having trouble understanding the rationale. You know you're entitled to compassionate leave at this time. With respect, sir, it's quite simple. My father's dead. Going to his funeral isn't going to change that, but these people are still alive. I can make a difference here. Now, according to the statement this Dr Sung gave immigration, they boarded the boat in Denpasar and you plucked them out of the ocean, what, there? Correct, sir. Which gives us a likely route and an area to focus our search on. Yeah. Now, it's my guess the smugglers will let them off somewhere east of Darwin. If they haven't done so already. That's a reasonable assumption, sir. What, you don't agree with it? The news of the Koreans is already over the wire. Now, they'll know that we've surmised their likely route. The coast east of here is going to be heavily monitored. So where are they heading? Well, I was master of the ship. I'd turn southwest and look for somewhere off this coast. It's an awfully long coastline, sir. Oh, look. Hammersley can have a look in the southwest. Get on the coast watch, get them to get a plane up at first light. Thanks, sir. Agent Murphy. Commander. You seem to be living here. Oh, just tidying up some paperwork. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. Have you heard anything recently from Ursula Morell? The marine biologist? Well, it seems you know her a hell of a lot better than I do. Why would I have heard from her? I have reason to believe that she may have disappeared. Or from her home or from the city? All I know for certain is that she's moved out of her apartment. Well, it's a free country. People move out of apartments all the time. What if it wasn't voluntary? Then it's a matter for local cops, mate. If you're concerned, file a missing persons report. I just thought you might be interested, that's all. Given that she's connected with your investigation. What investigation? The mysterious poisoning of a colleague in Bright Island. Not so mysterious, tragic accident. Well, that was your conclusion, was it? Ah, oh, Greg, good timing. I'm sorry, you, you'd be finished? Yeah, we're finished. Indeed, three vessels within our search area that have containers on their decks. Here, here, and here. This one is the Kamakura Express out of Nagasaki. She did berth at Denpasar, but she's around 7,000 TEU. Too big to have lost a container. These other two are smaller coastal traders, the Prince Alexander and the Pacific Mariner. We're unsure of their ports of call. OK. Plot us a course to the nearest vessel, Naf. If one of these ships has lost a container, it shouldn't be too hard to tell. Once we're close. Could you give me a little bit of space here, Roy? Sorry, mate. Coming up on our first contact, sir. 
Roger that, Nav. RO, commence contact procedure. I have a visual. Green 5, far. I took your advice, by the way. Spoke to Agent Murphy about Ursula Morrell. I didn't get much joy there, but at least I tried. He didn't think her disappearance was suspicious? He didn't seem to react when I told him she vacated her apartment. Are you saying... What are you saying? I find it strange when someone ups and leaves without even a goodbye. Is that right? You really do see things in terms of black and white, don't you, X? The Pacific Mariner's slowing, sir. I can see that, Ro. And she's missing a container off her deck. Request to be part of the boarding party, sir. Go for it. Navy, sir. Anyone else on board? Ah, uh, the crew. Let me give you a hand there. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'm Lieutenant McGregor from Australian warship Hammersley. And your name is? Richard Gallagher. Call me Rick. You master of this vessel, Mr Gallagher. And its owner? We've been tasked under the Customs Act to search vessels in this area. Would you be able to tell me what's in these containers? Uh, I'll show you if you like. Captain looks a bit of a rogue, in a good way. I can see to the back, no false wall. Are you missing any containers? Uh, we unloaded these two yesterday. All in order here, X. And uh, what about this one? Are you the commander of the ship? Executive officer. So oh, I see. Island spring water. Yeah, it's not a bad drop. I'd offer you all a bottle, but uh, the container's not refrigerated. These crates are stacked too tight to see them. We're going to have to pull them all out. I don't think that'll be necessary. I can't see all the way to the back, ma'am. I'm satisfied they're not here. I'm not, ma'am. I recommend that we empty the container. And your recommendation is noted. Let's wrap things up here. Ma'am, I really insist that we at least take some of these out. Leader, return to the rib. They might still be in there. Leader. They could still be alive. Return to the rib now. I apologise for that. No need. You handled it really well. Thank you. No, thank you. It's not every day I'm boarded by the Navy. You've given me a great story to tell down the pub tonight. Nah. Uh, reporting from Coast Watch, sir. They've spotted a derelict vessel adrift a few miles south of our position. They can't raise anyone on VHF. Thanks, Bob. X-ray 2, this is Charlie 2. Anything to report there? Over. Negative, sir. Everything seems to be in order here. Over. Then it's time to head home, X. Charlie 2 out. E.T., hey, let's go. I have to find what you're looking for. You wanted to see me, ma'am? Come in. I don't appreciate my authority being tested as you did on that boarding. I will not tolerate it. Yes, ma'am. I realise I overstepped the mark. It was out of concern for the missing Koreans. Yes. Your sensitivity has been obvious to everyone. Now, I am going to overlook it. This time only in view of your circumstances. What circumstances? 
Your recent bereavement, I can only assume it caused you to behave irrationally. Well, you're wrong about Zip that, Zip it, Row, and take advantage of my compassion on this occasion. Ex. Ma'am. I am warning you. I'm not feeling grief, I'm relieved. My father was a mongrel. He was emotionally and psychologically abusive. He was a drunk. And I'm relieved he's dead because it gives me closure. Now, I... I understand that that must seem strange to you. I know that family relationships aren't supposed to be like that, but my... My... Ro. I'm very sorry. Ma'am, I'm not looking for your sympathy. I'm only telling you this because I feel I owe you an explanation for my behaviour. Your explanation is accepted. You haven't heard it yet. Dr Sun's a decent man and I wanted to help reunite him with his family. He's a man that does deserve to have a child. Derelict vessel is stationary, range 1,000 yards. Fishing vessel on my port bow. This is Australian warship, channel 16, over. Captain Rick, eh? Looked cute at long distance. Pretty average up close, though. Very average. Fight XX. Do you hear their XO speaking? We haven't been able to raise the adrift vessel. We're going to investigate whether assistance is required. Hands to FADEX stations, hands to FADEX stations. A derelict fishing boat looks kind of familiar, sir. Certainly does. It belongs to your fishing mates. There's no sign of the two fishermen and the boat. It's been ransacked. Ransacked? Yeah, totally cleaned out. Fairly suspicious, wouldn't you say? X. Console's a mess. GPS radar, fish finders, sat phone, all ripped out of their housings. What do you reckon? Pirates? Well, in these waters. Anything's possible. X. You need to see this. Speaking to the guy yesterday. What happened to his mate, Carl? If armed bandits ransacked the boat and murdered Sam, you'd think we would have found Carl's body as well. Unless this car bloke had something to do with it. It's crap, E.T. You saw them, they were mates. Mate, I was down below when they rocked up. I didn't see anything. How well do you know this guy, Spot? Apart from yesterday, I'd only met them the once on Bright Island. But they seem like pretty cool dudes. <laughs> well, look, you know, we don't know what happened on that boat. <laughs> they could have taken Carl with them as a hostage or something. Well, why can't we keep searching instead of going after this container ship buff? Fed's jurisdiction now, mate. Got our own job to do. We conducted a handover of the boat to the Federal Police, but waiting for them's cost us precious time. I understand that, Mike, but we have to bow to proper procedure. Uh, what's your current status? We're on a southwesterly course to intercept the second vessel of interest. OK, we've had no luck in the Arafira Sea. Getting a lot of stick from Canberra. Just keep me informed. Will do, sir. And if there's any news from the Feds on Carl Davies, I'd appreciate it if you pass it on. Roger, mate. Contact is still bearing 215. Speed steady at 12 knots, range 10 nautical miles. Would you like me to try and raise them, sir? Negative X. I don't want them picking up steam. Us, on the other hand, increase 24. Revolutions, 880. Revolutions, 880. Visual right ahead. Target's picked up speed. She's now on a course of 205, speed 15 knots. That'll be her top speed. Port 10, steer 200. Port 10, steer 200. Let's make our introductions, Nav. Prince.
Prince Alexander, this is Australian warship. Stop. Heave two. I intend to board you. Course two zero zero seven. Very good. Prince Alexander, this is Australian warship. Stop. Heave two. Prince Alexander, you have no permission to come aboard. No permission to come aboard. That's what he thinks. Make sure the gunner's visible. Yes, sir. Gunner of the watch, stand two. Trading vessel on my fourth bow. You should stop. Heave two. We intend to board you. Prince Alexander, stop. Heave two, or I will fire upon you. Nil response, sir. Recommend burst of fire ahead of the bow. Roger. One short burst ahead of the bow. Gunner action. Instant. One burst of three to five rounds, 50 yards ahead of the bow. Engage. Check, check, check. Take a snatch party, X. Aye, sir. Request to be part of that snatch party, sir. Not this time, Ro. Please, I'm Lieutenant McGregor from Australian Warship Hammersley. You are in Australia's contiguous zone. I have every right to board you. Charlie 2, this is X-Ray 2. We have the vessel under control. Low threat. We're commencing our search now. Over. Roger, X. Charlie 2 out. Buffer. Sir, we would like to inspect your ship's manifest. Would you send one of your crew to retrieve it, please? Sir? Your last port of call was Denpasar. Three days ago, correct? We pick up furniture. A lot of paperwork's all there. It's no problem. All the containers are accounted for. Serial numbers match up. Doesn't seem to be any discrepancies there, ma'am. A buffer. Could these have been doctored? Maybe, yes. X-ray 2, this is Charlie 2. Sit rep over. This is X-ray 2. The containers would appear to be legitimate and all accounted for. Over. What's your instinct tell you, X? I know they're here. Over. Roger. Out. Buffer. I want everything. Out of this one. Ah. Sir, 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 step back. Step back. It's a false bolt in here. Oh, well, she's got you. She won't. No, 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 what sailors drink, bro. Only at sea a hundred years ago. <laughs> now we drink how Shiraz love? Yeah, that mate. Thank you. Is the this your local? No, not usually. I'm just looking for an audience to brag to about my big naval adventure. Adventure? Ta. Hey, that was the highlight of my month. Might just be another standard day for you. Oh, sure, yeah. In amongst uh, communist refugees, people smugglers, murder on the high seas. <laughs> Murder? Yeah, a couple of fishermen. The boat was ransacked, one dead, one missing. 
You can never be too careful out there. I have to keep that in mind. Tiles for Chefo's engagement. Charge is in charge. Let's go. It's going to be a good night, sir. No, not tonight, Buff. I think I'll have one quiet bevy and then hit the sack early. Sir. All right, sir. Yeah, we'll be. Have a good All one. Right, see you, sir. Where's X? At the bar, sir. Well, we'll sir. Get you a drink, gorgeous? Uh, uh, no. I'm right. Oh, <laughs> 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 